Hi, my name is Kevin Janaway on Street Smart Guy, and I'm interviewing fellow comedian Leclerc Andre. And sometimes there's incredibly talented people in the city who just haven't been seen yet, and it's just a matter of time for them to be seen and get that representation, and then, you know, sky's yeah. for them. Yeah, but I mean, I'd rather be that guy, an undiscovered guy who has a lot of talent, than be a guy who gets discovered too early before they're ready, and then be put on Letterman and, and eat crap in front of the nation. It's it's better. But kind of, and also the other extreme is um, used to when people are on Letterman or The Tonight Show, <clears throat> it made their career. Now people are on those shows, and like I knew this one girl. I saw her. She was really funny, and they introduced her as someone who had performed on Letterman, and she was doing a show for free. That I saw. Like now people aren't. <laughs> Like, it doesn't make you. It doesn't like, make you. It, no. Like, and it used to do that for people. It doesn't do yeah. that anymore. It's still a, a viable platform. It's still something that people, you know, hold in high regard. It's just that, you know, being seen on Letterman, people aren't just going to tune in and say, oh, I have to have him in my movie. He's going to be the next big thing. There's so right. much talent out or, there. And even with Joan Rivers, she was always funny on TV, but I didn't know until she died that she was banned from, like, all these other channels. And she was really good on the E! Network, but, like, when she was on Letterman or something, Leno, recently, before she died, like, she hadn't been allowed on the show for, like, 25 years. Right, she has been. <laughs> yeah, she has been. But she's so stop that she's legitimately funny over the person that they chose who's, like, you said that. Yeah, not only was she legitimately funny, but she was also a certified pro working comic, and she already had, her, her legend was already made, but she was banned for it because of, you know. But, I mean, she was banned on the way up. She wasn't banned, like... Yeah, but her you know, star power didn't change her ban. It didn't lift her ban. She didn't get more famous. And people were like, oh, well, we should have Joan Rivers back on. It was a lot of politics. She would say stuff that yeah. was... That, yeah. But we want to hear the people say the offensive stuff or the edgy stuff. We don't want right. to, you know, see the cookie-cutter stuff. I don't know. That's my opinion. Are you influenced by, like, edgy comics? Do you, like, I, I think I do, but I don't know. Are you or no? I'm most certainly influenced yeah. by it. Who was your influences? No, but I remember we're talking about edgy comics. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw Margaret Cho, and she was making fun of the Save the Children thing. Yeah. And then she was on MTV, and she goes, she goes, this is like the first joke, and she goes, she goes, Lou Chung lives with her 35,000 brothers and sisters in a cardboard box. Yeah. This is Lou Chung's side of the story. I went to the store to buy a chicken head. I had no money to buy a chicken head, so I sold my finger for it. And I was like, oh, that's funny. And she was talking about the Korean perspective and stuff, and it was like what people thought about Korean right. people, but she said it. Right. And that made her stand out. Right. Because that they, was edgy, you know. And that, then she had the show that got canceled. Right, but you identify with that. Yeah. With that edgy material. Because I'm, I'm not way. Korean. Right. <laughs> but it's it's great. I think that's where I mean people love Seinfeld, right? But Seinfeld's content, he he made a living but talking about nothing and that's great. People can identify with that. It's a very privileged standpoint, but it's awesome. People love him for that. Um I I kind of gravitate towards people who kind of talk about edgier subjects. You you could do comedy and talk about nothing on stage and make a living. Or you could talk you could do comedy say something funny and tackle social issues and talk about real stuff. And I think it's a bit more rewarding, don't you think? Yeah. So is there anything exciting going on in your life? Uh, I wish. <laughs> no, um, I'm just, just working, working out stuff and uh, trying to get better at stand-up comedy. Yeah. And, and you're hosting places or are you producing? Or? Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a big fan of hosting shows. I, I like... Um, I like to do stand up sets and, and not not do the hosting thing as much, but I try to I try if I have to host a show, I'll host the hell out of a show. I'm a great host when I have to uh, be. Yeah. yeah, see I'm not good at hosting because I wanna I always wanna riff off people's sets mm -hmm. and that takes up too much time. And if you're like the good host, you have to shut the F up and just let them do their thing and I'm yeah. I talk too much. Yeah, hosting's <laughs> tough. I mean hosting is a to be a good host, you have to have a lot of energy. You have to make sure you say all the stuff that you have to say for the show. You have to bring the energy up and bring the energy back down. It's a it's a tough job. I'd much rather just get up there, do my song and dance, and get the hell out. It's, I know, do your song and dance, and he twerks. So. I do not twerk. I don't know where you got that information from. No, but you did some twerk. joke about some gay guy who was twerking. It was funny. I don't know why I left at that. No, nah, no, nah, I, I will never twerk. Can no, we edit that part somebody out? Asked, <laughs> no, it's okay. Somebody asked me to twerk recently, and I was like, I didn't know how to do it right. 
But I do like, as far as regarding that, I saw, um, okay, never mind. I don't want to talk about twerking in our last minute. But anyway, so when's the date for your Creek in the Cave moment? Uh, that show will be December 18th. And uh, my next show at Young Wild and Free will be November 21st. That's going to be great. And uh, I hope you guys can all make it out. It's Is Young Wild and Free the one in Chelsea that I saw the picture? No, that that's a different show. Um, the, my Young Wild and Free show is at Brandon Saloon in Brooklyn. At, at uh, It's in Prospect Heights. Okay. Great cool. show. Really fun. So if people like your page, they can see this immediately, right? Absolutely. Okay, okay, yeah. cool. All right, LeClerc Andre today, and my name is Kevin Janaway for Street Smart Guide.